Welcome back to another smoldering wreckage of a DF Retro play. This time, Audie Surly has brought some gifts, shall we say. We're playing some of the worst games ever released on the PlayStation 2. So, Audie, what have you brought for us today? Well, you say worse. We haven't played this yet. Let's keep an open mind, John. But uh, recently, you reviewed uh, Tony Hawk, the remake. Oh, yeah, one and two. And uh, that made you kind of misty eye, didn't it? Um, yes. Well, let's go to straight up tears and screams as we have Skateboard Madness Extreme Edition. All right, so. So this is a Phoenix game. Should we talk about Phoenix? Why don't you explain while I get started here what Phoenix Games is and why it's the successor to the CDI. Yeah. So, yeah, as many of you know, I'm a digital tulip. I love and hate the CDI at the same time. I've been running out of CDI games, so I had to start uh, collecting something else. But it had to be a similar flavor, similar texture, you know, my palette is special. And uh, we discovered this company called Phoenix Games, which, uh, founded in the Netherlands, uh, put out the uh, pre-budget titles at supermarkets in the UK and other places. And uh, as you can see, this is the result. I love these characters. Uh, the first one I discovered back all the in same, the day. But like different color, yeah. different clothes. Yeah, so the first time I heard of them was when I was writing a certain book, and they made a wrestling game, WWC. And uh, that's the worst game I ever played on the PlayStation 2, believe it or not. And you hadn't heard of Phoenix Games until that. No, not until that. So I actually tracked down some people that knew more about it. They sent me the games. And uh, today I have a collection of about 40 Phoenix games. And we're going to be checking out three of them today. Yeah, I, I, we'll get through all 40 one day. Okay, so... so I mean, uh... So let's, uh, let's do the nearest comparison we can here. Tony Hawk 1 and 2 on Xbox One X. Uh, what do you think so far? So, I mean, the thing is, compared to some Phoenix Games uh, games, this seems shockingly competent, but also... We'll do a trick. Let's, uh, I can't. It doesn't, like, I don't understand how, how this you works. You have to push the button, John. I am. Which button? Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. You kickflip. Oh. Oh, I'm looking, so we're doing a race? Whoa, for some that reason? camera. Oh, you're doing a race. You misunderstood this game completely, didn't you? Um, okay, so this is what it means to be skateboard madness, I guess. Uh, Extreme edition. Okay, so I have to get up there. Now, we should, just for clarity, say that there is no regular edition of this game. No, there's only Extreme Edition? Are you sure? Yes, I double-checked this. All right, just making sure. If someone has a prototype out there of the regular edition, do send it to me. I mean, I'm not I'm not actually intentionally trying to just make this look bad for, for laughs. Oh, we're I'm, not fine. I'm, I'm struggling here. This, yeah. is, uh, this, this controls horribly. John, so confused about what to do. I can't believe you haven't turned this game off already. Can I grind anything? Uh, probably. Oh, you At least your soul me. by playing this game. Why don't you open the manual? Uh, as a tradition for... Oh. Let's see if it has one. Oh, it does. Okay, excellent. So what do we got here? It has a receipt in it for some reason. So, I mean, this is just... I'm just going around for checkpoints. So let's see how many pages this is per language. Six pages okay, per so language. Okay, so how do I grind? Okay. Because triangle is usually the grind button in these games inspired by Tony Hawk. Um, All right, controls. Huh. You can do a melon by pressing circle and left. I don't care about a melon. Well, I just want to grind. Um, hmm. Slide on the edges after a jump is square button. I think that might be grind. It's very uh, specifically oh, yeah, look at this. Okay. That's a pretty cool effect. I mean, Am I, he I jitters. Can't tell, I can't tell if I'm grinding or just like stuck in the circle, though. Isn't it the same? I mean, in, in Phoenix, potatoes, tomatoes. In Phoenix Games parlance, yes. Oh! <laughs> I don't know what that was. It's madness. All of this is madness. Okay. Extreme madness. Yeah. So you're getting into this now. I think uh, I think this is the most fun you ever have with a Phoenix game so far. You're not wrong. 
Um, man, I wonder, wonder what they made this with. Like, I guess they must have made their own. I'm tools guessing a and... computer, but uh, oh, I'm not even think... sure. <laughs> this might just have been generated by an AI. Um, I'm gonna try a different mode. Oh, I thought you were gonna say a different game. I got super excited halfway well, through that sentence. We're gonna, okay, so. Street race, collector, freestyle, practice. Let's do collector. Wait. So the let's okay, let's see. I'm gonna see if, what this is actually is about because street race is actually just collecting arrows. Your goal is to collect all skateboards scattered through the track within the time limit. Okay. So it's like uh, Banjo Kazooie with a skateboard. Oh, okay. It's so just it's the same track though. They just replaced. They replaced the. Oh look, it's. <laughs> they literally replaced the arrows with skateboards, and the difference is that the, the arrow that tells you where to go just points to whatever you're closest to, whereas in the race, it points to the next one. So this is the same mode, except for you don't have to collect them in order. You can collect them in any order. Yeah, uh, John, I'm a game producer. You know what this is called in the what? industry? Replayability. Oh, look at this. Woo! <laughs> You're having so much fun. You're like a child on a skateboard. I am actually impressed by this game. Thank you. I said the game, not your skills. Oh. Well, you know. I still haven't seen you eat a melon yet, and it says here you can do it. How do I do it again? Uh, to eat the melon, you push circle and left. Do they actually say left. eat the melon? No, they say melon, but uh, I am going to assume he's going to eat it. Um... Circle and left. Th that's the wall. I tried. That's the melon, I guess so, right? Oh, okay. You, you fell on the ground, your head smashed Ugh. open like a melon. Dang. There it is. I did it. I did it. I did a trick. You never rode a skateboard in real life, did you? I, I have before. Oh, you have? Long but time not, ago. But not like... Did Are you, you kidding? If I did it now, I'd probably snap the skateboard in half, to be honest. There's something called a skywalk. As you can tell, I didn't ride much skateboarding myself i mean i wasn't doing tricks i mean some but nothing uh <laughs> i never could do a kickflip heck no could i do a crossbone because this game can let you do it with... um okay so this this is re i mean this is i mean this is better than most phoenix games games but i hate this i hate this game um Wow. We're going to have to do a Phoenix game stream at some point as well. We're well, play... we have 40 more games to go. There's a lot. And one of those games has 100 games in one. Oh, so no. technically, I have 140 Phoenix games for you to enjoy, John. Ugh. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's cool. It yeah. just runs it. It's a PAL game, so it's 50 frames per second. Listen to this. Skateboard Man is Extreme Edition. Takes you around the globe, it says in the manual. Oh, I can't change tracks. There's only that one. Street race, because um, they're locked. The sky is the limit. There's Make five, that there's the five sky stages. the place to be. There's five stages? Yeah. Around the globe? No. No. Uh, you know what? You know, this is Phoenix. Being this that this is Phoenix Games, I kind of feel like we need to move on. Quickly? To the next game. Well, John. So let's press that reset button. No manual this time. Uh oh. So what have you got? Now? What have you got for me now? Well, John, I know earlier today we were playing Forza. Had a lot of fun. So you like racing, don't you? You like cars? You mean Forza? Forza. Sorry. Is that like the way you say it? Yes. Okay. Well, you were driving your Fiat in your Forza, and we had okay. a lot of fun. Yeah, Forza and Horizon 4 specifically. Yes. Testing out a new graphics card. So, you like cars, you like racing? I do. You like animals, John? Of course. All right. How do you feel if we combine those two? I mean, isn't and... that just like the Crash Kart game? And oh. like any number of like oh. kart racing titles? Atari Karts. Atari Karts, for instance. Well, this I is... I do like Atari Karts. This is Wacky Sue GP. Okay. A racing game from Phoenix Games where you can play as a moose in a bubble car. Um, okay, well. Now, we didn't know, um, note earlier, because it wasn't there, but uh, usually the title screens for Phoenix games are quite high quality, very sharp. This one's less impressive, actually. Uh, it's okay. Uh, the logo earlier was pretty good. Uh, we have seen better. 
it's usually how we rank the budget for these games from like zero to ten. Okay. As in actual pounds that they spent on the game. Is if the uh, oh, logos at, are good. Look at this menu though. Well, I mean, what else could you want? Start the game or options. Uh, tournament. So even though this is a racing game, oh, look at this. Oh, you have to. Oh, you get one. You get to choose from one. <laughs> Wacky wheels. Raving Racer and was Wait, something nutty. Silly Street, Zany Lane. Why is everything zany, wacky, and silly? Because it's a hippo in a car. How more wacky and zany can Check you be? Check out his license plate. Hip01. This <laughs> I, I love it. All right, so far, okay. Oh my god, they're even shifting to the left a little bit here. Oh, the frame rate's not so good. Well, oh, we were you were expecting a Are good frame rate. Like skateboard madness or whatever. Well, are they all hippos? Yes. I was promised a moose on the cover. Okay, get it. <sighs> so, I mean, I mean uh, to be honest, this looks better than most Phoenix games as well. Yeah, this, like, uh, it actually has... An, they attempted to create a style. <laughs> but the controls, <laughs> though, my... Oh, my gosh. Like, I... What the... Can you imagine people... Look, I can't... I can't People are watching this here. You say this is better than most Phoenix games. It's a garbage. It's straight up garbage. I spent money on this. Yes, now, you uh, did. before we turn this off, I want to go on eBay and look up this game and uh, just see how much it's worth. A euro? Oh, we'll see. We'll do that after you're done playing all right, this. All right. we'll it see. should be soon. Okay. Oh. Ah, they shrunk you just like Mario Kart. This game is quite. It's just mm. like it's just like Mario Kart, isn't it? Yeah, even has that bomb. Okay, you know. the controls, like what the heck? Are you using analog or D-pad? I tried both. Oh. No. It's, <laughs> it's just essentially what's happening is it's like, look, like the car veers out of control and you <laughs> smash into a wall, and there's like the rails are like magnetic almost. Why well, did like, you expect good drift no. from a hippo? I mean, I didn't. Ex I expected a bad game because we're playing Phoenix games, but it's. It's not so much that, oh, it's bad, that's funny. It's more like the ways in which it's bad. It changes. Yeah. It's very much like a sandwich that's gone old. So they keep shrinking me. Well, that, that's, that's one of the attack. attack. Yeah. It's a really... I mean, the the frequency with which it happens is what I find disturbing. I actually find the backgrounds in this game uh, somewhat um, interesting. I mean, they're not terrible. Had the controls been good, the character's a little bit more um, wacky. Yeah, they're not, uh, they're not really... I mean, it's called Wacky Zoo GP, right? Yeah. It's not that wacky. I mean, the architecture is kind of... Uh, okay, well... I mean, it's like a dolly painting. This is horrible. Did you tell Richard we were doing this? No. Oh, good. I think... I do appreciate the logo, though. If you look at that, the zoo has two wheels in it. I know. I think you're gonna have to try this now. All right, I'll I, try. You must, you must uh, reap what you've sowed. But this is a zany lane. Let's see how zany. Isn't this the same? So I can't tell if it's the same track. <laughs> we'll find be. out. I think it is. Okay. Like once you get going, just w wait for these controls. This might be a different track. Oh. You see what happens? Like it's just the car goes sideways and. Oh man, look at this. Because it's a PAL game again, it's running at a t maximum of 25 frames per second, so, since it's 20, uh, 50 oh. hertz. This but is straight up garbage. Yeah, it's 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 horrible. Oh my God, isn't I'm getting it? like carpal tunnel syndrome from just trying to like push this guy into the right direction. Oh no! I'm stuck to the wall. Yeah, so when I buy games, I have a different philosophy from most collectors. I, I want to have the worst collection possible. You're well on your way. Yes, I think I've, I mean, I've reached a point where I can't go back. So I love that, or the, make I friends. mean, all of these games feel like the successor to the CDI. Yes, or the new one in this or case. Or the new one, yeah, this, this feels like a new one game. This is pretty much like, uh, you know, the ghost of the Dutch Box of Wonders that is the CDI. Yes, that is the name we have given it. <laughs> uh, mm, I, 
think after this we're going to have to switch games again. But first, what? I think we can just switch to game now because uh, I can't play this for another second. It's making me question everything I am. But uh, do get your phone, John, and let's look up the price. All right, all right. What are you guessing? Oh, I know. I just want to see. All right, well, let's look this up. I'm going to pop in here. We're going to look for... Uh, Wacky Zoo Wacky GP. Zoo. Whoops, I misspelled it there. Uh, Wacky Zoo GP. And... <laughs> what the heck? How did you get this? Oh, I didn't pay these prices. What did you I got my own supplier that gives me the dirt. Where the heck did you get it? <laughs> Okay, the prices online right now are 253 euros, 197 euros. There's one from Italy for 69, another one for 89. Why do you have this? And I almost threw this in the trash <laughs> when I saw it, when I opened the mail, because you keep sending these stupid games to my house. And Why? I never tell you. <laughs> where, did, where did you. Where did you get this? <laughs> Explain to the people watching this, unfortunately. How do you feel every time you get mail oh, these I, days? I feel distressed. <laughs> I always think I, it's a game I ordered arriving and it ends up being one of these Whenever awful... I visit you, you get mail. You come up the stairs, so you're like, oh, there's something new in the mail. I wonder what it is. Is it a new Mega Drive game? Is it, you, you know, is the review game? You open it and time stops. Your heart stops. And I always see that broken child that's within you. Dude. <laughs> Well, what do you say about one more? Okay. Okay. Well, let me see it. Pass me the disc. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, John? Yes. You know, uh, skateboarding is yeah. an extreme sport. It is. An export. What's the opposite? What do you say is the calmest, most zoofing? It's fishing. Yes, if you sport fish. But the, let's go for real sports. All right, golf. Yes. So, this is... Crazy golf. Yes. It is a golf game starring oh, the dog that you buried 25 years ago. And he's dog. back to play the golf. The render on this cover. It looks like they use like like rotting meat as the texture for a snout. It's, it's actually giving me some sort of like uh, phobia-like reaction. Good. Let's I put it in really the, hate this. Let's put it in the PS2. That sounds like an endorsement if I ever heard one. All right. Let's, <laughs> this ugly, rotting, fleshy <laughs> dog. On the cover. As I said, it's the dog you buried 25 years ago. He's back to play golf just with you. <laughs> <laughs> we could, wrong. you know, We could be spending this time together playing good games. It has just occurred to me. I'll wait till you leave. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I, prefer, I prefer it that way. So let's see. What kind of quality are you expecting? Oh, well. See, the, the Phoenix logo quality varies. Like... I think different companies use different codecs or encoding methods. Oh. Oh, it's this game logo again. Oh, no. We are mortals. Wait, is that Papyrus? I think so. I think we discussed this earlier. There was another game we played that was by them. They certainly picked an interesting theme for the logo, I have to say. All right, checking system. Really? You never played this before? You don't have a save on your card? Oh, look at this. It's shifted to the left. This is the whole I, yeah. I appreciate it. It's like an Amiga game. <laughs> look look at that rotting flesh dog snout. I hate oh, that thing. Don't, don't talk trash about crazy dog. Crazy look at the dog shark, though. Yeah, he's happy. Oh, the so this actually has multiplayer. But let's do single player. Whoa, there's more than one dog. And they're all rotting. Oh. Um. All right. Well, let's 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 do this. Do you know how to play golf? Yes. Good. I always go for as many bogeys as I can, and I usually win. That's. Uh, I think that's the name of the game in this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, so far so I'm not good. offended yet. I mean, I'm offended by the dog, but. Oh no. Oh no. He looks better than the render. He looks better than the high quality render on the box. Okay, how, how does this work? I like that. Oh, you did pretty good for the first time crazy golfing. Thank you. Have you crazy golfed before? Oh, these cameras, they're terrible. 
<laughs> look at the look at the face he has on the top left corner. Hold on, what's going on with this? The the meter is weird. I think that's a strength, technically. Yeah, but look, it's so different. Like the it's so choppy and weird to control. Ah, that's just European. Just ignore it. That's way too hard. You've I can't. <laughs> I I can't control it though. Look at him. You disappointed crazy dog. So okay. Um. All right. Damn it. Hey, no cursing on here. This is Digital Foundry. <laughs> I said, well, it used to be. <laughs> now it's no longer. <laughs> yes. Okay, you oh. got the bogey you wanted. Hole complete. Oh. Personal best. Um, we gotta start somewhere. So this is what I predicted. It would be a series of very simple holes with long loading screens between them. Yes. But I also predicted it would have a picture of the the <laughs> molding rot <laughs> rotten dog. Moldy mutt. Yeah, moldy oh. mutt. <laughs> oh, it's creepy here. Look at the shadow. I mean, this. That's not the worst. Would this look better with ray tracing? Yes. All right. Well, you should have changed. Uh, I mean, come on. Can't just hit the ball into oh, the wall. I did wall. last time and I almost got a hole in one. <laughs> uh, different stage, different tactics. Whoa, look at that frame rate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tell like the 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 terrain. Oh, look at his his lips it's are like sealed by like flesh and rot. <laughs> There's something about the uh, Phoenix games. Wait, there, and... it's all underwater though, so that's probably why he's all like rotting and fleshy. That is true. But I was saying, is ew! Look at his look at his lips. It's it's horrifying. This I is... hate this dog. I wanted that dog in a T-shirt. Why do you do this? <laughs> I didn't make this yet. <laughs> All right, come on, molding rot dog. <laughs> Moldy mud. Oh, good, a bogey. It's the rotting mold dog. <laughs> Is that your favorite breed of dog? <laughs> All right, let's play golf with the rotting mold dog. See hole three. I have to say, the three games, we played three games today. Yeah. We've driven a car with a hippo. We've yes. gone skateboarding around the world, but only in one place in the world. Right. And then we played golf underwater with a moldy dog. This is something that only Phoenix games can They take provide. you places. They take you places and make you regret it. I, I regret this very much. I mean, I do prefer... An oh, Animal Soccer World is pretty funny. Yes, uh, Phoenix games is mostly known for those things where they put a cheap cartoon on a disc. Jester James Pond hosts Jester it. James Pond, who also has rotting lips. Ew. I think that's a Phoenix Games thing. And uh, yeah, Animal Soccer World is uh, absolutely horrifying. For weeks, I've been running from one hand to another. It's everywhere the same. What's the same everywhere? It's everywhere the same. The same of nothing happened. Yeah, it's the same old song. Yeah, old songs. It's not fun to be a singer when there are no parties where I can sing my old songs. Parties? Where? Can I sell my candy somewhere? There is no party. Oh. Yes, this is more horrifying, maybe. I hate rotting mold dog. And these are still the best games. I think we... So I. This might be the wor this, our best, yeah. Let's just clarify. This weekend, last weekend, I got 25 new Phoenix games in one day. <laughs> <laughs> You were given some of them. You didn't even have to pay for them. They just said, this is taking up too much space in my shop. Get them out of here. Yeah, I, I thought this was kind of surprising. I mean, they look nice on that shelf. But uh, yeah, I got 25 new games. And I think this has been one of the best experiences we've had playing through how many games so far? Yeah, 10? this is actually 15? better than expected. But also, it's not good. But well, it's not... I mean, 
would you say if you want to buy a cheap supermarket game fe featuring disgusting characters, this is the one to get? Possibly. All right. So uh, Digital Foundry just endorsed Crazy Golf. I did not I endorse Rotting Mold Dog. <laughs> on your gamer, you can find a recommended rating oh, good. on it's this a game. Circle. Oh, well, Sea Hole. Yeah. This is, this really is just this is just pure nonsense at this point. What I've we're also doing here. noticed when we take the discs out, they're yeah. very warm. They're very hot. Yeah. Like just smolderingly hot. I wonder if they actually hurt your system. I'm which worried about that. could be a feature. If you think about it, John. Oh, oh, oh. oh there we go. Oh, you're actually on top of that railing. Oh man. Dang it. This game is very difficult to play. Tough to master, fun to play. Tough to play, <laughs> tough to master. <laughs> Whoa, nice uh, work. You got actually a par. Wow, amazing. Yeah, okay. there's so many stages. I'm actually I'm, I'm sure there's like perplexed 100 of them. by the amount of content in this game. That's right. I hear if you finish the first 100 holes, the Baron comes back. Oh, there's wow. 200 more to go. <laughs> That's how we know we have good content. Wait, look what's going on here. Uh, the same as... This. Oh, you mean on the ground there? Yes. It's a moving... Yeah, you're right. So it dynamically changes from stage to stage, huh? Out of bounds. Oh, no. Ooh, look at this. Oh. I mean, it's not quite Neo Turf Masters. But Neo Turf Message doesn't have a dog in it. No, that's true. I can't, you know what? I'm just I'm not even trying at this point. I think we gotta stop. This is this is out of control. This is terrible. I don't even know. We we made this video. It's just all nonsense. You you spent all that money on getting all these Phoenix games, and here we are. Was it oh, worth it? Do you what? feel justified? Uh Let's wait for Richard Ledbetter's reaction, and I can answer that question for you. He's going to wonder why this video was made. And rightfully so. Because this is terrible. Well, if you want more of them, you guys know what to do. That's right. Um, I mean, if you didn't hate this video, be sure to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell. And follow Audi on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, until next time... Stay away from the, the uh, rotten mold dog. Moldy mutt. Moldy mutt. <laughs>